Denise and I'm here at the beautiful Essential Oils Bar at Sage and I am here with my friend Tiana who is a user of the oils and a lover of the oils. For sure. <laughs> and I just wanted to, we were talking before about what we do every day with the oils, like what's our daily routine. So would you share with us like what you do? I start off first thing in the morning with a drop of cinnamon oil and lemon oil with some manuka honey in warm water. That's the first thing I do. Mm. Throughout the day I yeah. diffuse different blends in the office and we're whatever work environment I'm at. <laughs> and at night I use the breeze before I go to bed. It's my staple. Clears me up before I lay down. Mm -hmm. I also put serenity on the bottom of my feet. Sleep so much better. And those are the ones I use every single day. And the peppermint. I have the peppermint roll-on, I have the peppermint oil, and that's great for headaches, it's great for tension. I carry that with me in my purse. Mm. Uh, peppermint, the On Guard, that one is for everything. <laughs> I use them every single day, cannot live without them. Mm. What's your go-to for, for stress? So for anxiety, I use the vetiver and I use the balance. I put those directly on the bottom of my feet, um, yeah. either during the day if I have a lot of anxiety or before bed. I know I'm really full of anxiety, I know I'm not going to sleep, and then I'll mix that with the serenity at night, but definitely those are my go-to for mm. anxiety. Mm. Have you tried the serenity soft gels? No, I haven't oh, actually. they're so good, no. oh my god. They no. like completely in the daytime when I'm feeling anxious I'll take one and it'll calm me down but if I use it at night nice. it actually does like send me right to sleep the so oil works so fast for me bottom of my feet 15 mm -hmm. minutes yeah. I'm feeling it and then uh, the clopeba I use for back pain mm. uh, I use that a lot for back pain neck pain yep. that's a miracle oh yeah that's definitely a miracle for pain for me totally yeah, Copaiba is, is, it's been used so long in Brazil for everything, right? For, from skin stuff to heart stuff to uh, pain especially. Yeah, it really so, helps. Yeah, that one's amazing. That and then put peppermint on top of it mm -hmm. for the cooling and instant relief. Yep. Did you know that putting peppermint on top of other oils actually helps drive that oil in farther? Wow. The peppermint, totally. yeah. and when I have a migraine, I put the frankincense on the roof of my mouth, followed by a drop of peppermint oil, and it's an instant oh, migraine help. Yeah. yeah, I've heard that from a lot of people. Yeah. That one's like a very... When you have headaches and migraines, peppermint's your best friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but for migraines, I think the frankincense yes. really like drives it. Gets it gets right to and, yep. Yeah. yeah, and on the roof of the mouth is a great place, right? Because mm -hmm. then it's going to go right into the brain. Right. And lavender is good for headaches too. Lavender right? too. For me, when I'm getting a headache um, that's due to sinus stuff, I've tried peppermint, I've tried lavender, I've tried frankincense, and actually none of them work when I have a sinus type headache. And I found that the only one that works in that particular type of headache for me is the past tense. Oh, okay. I like yeah. roll it right on my sinuses, of, on my forehead. It's good. Yeah. So that's a good reminder yeah. that, like, you know different people are going to react to different, different things ones. so you kind of do sometimes have to experiment you can't just say oh that one didn't the oils don't work right. because you tried one and find it didn't which work. one works for you yep and just some experimenting with yeah i mean i use the the lemon all the time for my dryer balls so oh yeah talk about it's, that it's it's great to put on your dryer balls your wool and freshens your laundry your sheets your towels your clothing, anything, love that. Sometimes I use the tangerine. Mm. Um, and it also cuts down on your dryer time. Yes, so when you use those wool dryer balls, you're not going to be spending as much in energy. You're going to be getting your stuff all like smelling nice. Right. But without, and like you were saying before. And it's so nice the, for that. Yeah. And laundry. you're avoiding all the toxic like right. dryer sheets. Right. So. Yeah, that's an awesome use. So many uses. <laughs> daily. Yeah. Um, so many daily uses. And just so you know, when you use a reference book like this, if you look up in the back, whatever the 
ailment is that you're trying to deal with if the, there's usually a, like a long list of oils that you could try for that one try one if that one doesn't work try Go another one, one you know i of. refer to that book all the time mm -hmm. still after all this time I've been using oils, I still go to that book for, oh, for so sure. many conditions. Yes. Oh, yeah, me too. Um, yeah, so it's called Modern Essentials. Um, there's another one called The Essential Life, and they're both amazing resources. Definitely. Thank you. Sure. <laughs>